G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Right now in Australia, it's that time of year where it's incredibly hot. And there's one treat that I like to give myself every year that tastes absolutely delicious and is incredibly healthy. So join me today as I make my version of mango cubes. Okay, so this is very simple. It's only two ingredients. The first one being the mango. Now I've just removed all the pulp from a large mango. Now you can do this in a blender or a food processor. I'm gonna do this into a mixer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this for a couple minutes just until we get to a more broken up puree type consistency. Okay, and there we have a lovely mango puree and that actually smells pretty good right now. So next I'm gonna add some non-fat yogurt. The best one to use is say a non-fat Greek yogurt or just one that's labeled all natural. And of course, try your best to get the non-fat version. So I'm just gonna quickly mix that in. Okay, so now that's mixed in, just give it a quick taste just to make sure it's to your liking. So you can either add some more yogurt or some more mango. But my version is roughly 200 grams of yogurt to about one large or two small mangoes. Okay, so next I'm going to use an ice cube tray. Now you can use ice block type trays if you like, if you like it on a stick. But this is just how I've always had it. It's just like a little snack. So we're just going to pour a mixture into our ice cube trays. Okay, so once it's filled, just simply place it into the freezer for about, say, three to four hours to completely set. Okay, and there we have them. And I'll just take them out of the freezer and look at that. Yum, yum. Now the idea isn't to have them all at once. You can of course set these in an ice block type mold if you want to have it like that. But the idea of this is just to have one cube every now and then as you pass in the fridge. On a hot day it's just like a quick little two second snack. So you can have it either way in an ice block mold or just as a little cube like this. I just find these very convenient just to have one or two every now and then. But let's give it a try. Mm. <laughs> I love mango. This is why I choose mango because it really just tastes fantastic, especially mixed with that non-fat yogurt. Now, of course, you don't have to stick with just mangoes. You can use strawberries, you know, any type of fruit that you like. But just make sure you mix it with the yogurt as well because it just makes it a little bit softer and creamier. So even though these take just a couple of minutes to make and you put them into an ice cube tray, they taste simply delish. So for an incredibly healthy and super easy snack to make, give these a go because I guarantee you will love them. So it's just a simple two ingredients and you're done. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, a list of ingredients are down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Home Handy Hints channel, where I put up three new Home Handy Hints videos every single week. But until then, please give this video a massive thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.